Hello everybody, my name is David. Thank you for watching Crazy Narcissist Ex-Girlfriend. Today I want to answer a question for people that have um, that have asked this a lot. Um, and it's interesting and I just, I don't know, maybe I don't have the answer, but these are some answers that I want to give to help people understand. And that is, um, how do two siblings grow up together in the same environment, in the same household, the same parents, and the same narcissistic parent? And one turns out a narcissist and the other turns out, you know, a great person that cares about other people, would never abuse someone, stuff like that. How does that happen? And I think there's three major things to think about. One is genetics, right? And that's because like psychopaths, <clears throat> they're learning. People with uh, antisocial personality disorder, they're learning it can be genetic. Passed down, you know, from fathers, mothers, whatever, genes. So maybe one sibling gets that gene, one doesn't. Maybe it, it does have something to do with narcissist as well, genetics. Just a possibility to think about. Because is what I'm gonna get at is that there's just so many different reasons. There's so many factors. Um, people's brains are different and we respond differently to things. And there's just no way that two siblings have it exactly the same way. There's just no way that they get all the same amount of attention and abuse and neglect and, and manipulation and all that stuff. There, I, I don't see it being the same. And I have, a, you know, I have siblings. Um, you know, here's some possibilities. Maybe the narc was worse to one sibling than the other. So maybe they aimed a lot of that anger and, and abuse at one, mostly. Um, Maybe one sibling learns to stay out of the way. Maybe it learns how to please the narcissist better. So it doesn't take so much of the abuse and wrath. Maybe, um, maybe the narcissist is attached to the baby of the siblings, the, the youngest of the two. Maybe it's just attached to it more, you know, and trust the Sibling, trust the younger one more. Doesn't trust the older one. Um, maybe one, maybe one sibling looks more like the other parent to the narcissist. Maybe the narcissist. Well, obviously the narcissist probably hates, you know, their <coughs> the person they're married to, the person, the other, whether it's the father or the mother. And maybe they hate that person. And one child looks more like that parent and reminds them of them. And so they treat them more like shit. That's a definite possibility. Um, you know, you've got these roles, the black sheep, the golden child, the scapegoat, um, lost child, um, the enabler. You know, you've got all these roles and there it's a dynamic in a family that works together and it's just different for different siblings. The environment is going to be different no matter what. I mean, that's just period. It's just, it's not going to be the same. Um, the narcissist could, there could be hidden abuse from the other sibling. There could be sexual abuse that's hidden. That, uh, sexual abuse is a very, very common hidden abuse. Um, and it could be hidden from the other sibling. There could be more sexual abuse. If, if sexual abuse happened to both siblings, there could be more that happened to one sibling than the other. I mean, after enough abuse, it just seems like a child either develop, doesn't develop any empathy or they develop a lot of empathy. It seems to be that way. And that just kind of makes sense to me that someone going through a lot of shit tends to be a nicer person or a really fucking bad person um, I always thought that that I always used to think that it meant that you become a better person more caring nicer more empathetic and that's what I thought about my ex the narcissist I kind of gave her um, I mean I, I really 
put up with a lot of her shit and believed that she was this nice, amazing, sweet person that she portrayed because she went through a lot of that abuse. I thought that was going to be the after effects. Now, I thought it would, might screw anyone up to go through that much abuse, of course, but she was so nice and sweet, and I thought, well, that's a product of that. Well, the other one is that they're a piece of shit, and they could act like a nice person. So it just, I don't know. I hope that helps um, you guys. I hope that, that gives some kind of light on how it can be different. Because really, how, how two, two siblings turn out differently because it just can't be the same. They're two different people. It's two, I know it's in the same household, but the actual abuse directed at each sibling has to be a little different, I'd imagine. Plus, you also have the other parent that kind of makes up for it, maybe, and treats one nicer than the other. And don't forget that one major thing that makes up a narcissist is that abuse and then nice I'm doing I'm doing the Richard Grannon thing the abuse and then nice is kind of what makes up a narcissist because like maybe the narcissist maybe the maybe the mother is a narcissist and abuses the child and then the father very empathetic father who's also the enabler who enables the mother makes up for it by spoiling the child and give them all the toys they want and attention and love and let them do whatever they want. That makes a narcissist because things like your amygdala will shrink during the abuse, right? And then when the father overcompensates, the amygdala gets really large. And that actually causes a lot of the problems with narcissism. Um, so there's just so many different factors that it could be. It just would make sense. I mean, how could they turn out exactly the same? Or everyone, every child's a narcissist. I, uh -uh. It, thank God. But I hope that helps, guys. Thank you very much. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, a like. Um, comment down below if you have any questions, please. I'll answer everyone's question. And uh, send this video to someone that you think might help, that it might help. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, guys. Love yourself first. Bye-bye. Thanks.